Hi guys, I'm Ming. You might know me as Kevin. So, welcome back to the channel. I'm at uh, Chertsey today and I'm going to be showing you another real test route. So this particular test route was used on one of my pupils quite recently and the time of the test that my pupil took was at 12.28, so 12.28. So if you're taking your test at Chertsey Test Centre around 12.28 you might get this test route. So stick around and I'll show you exactly where he went on that particular day. Okay, so I'll be turning uh, right at this roundabout just coming up here, so checking my middle and right mirrors, clicking on the right signal, giving way to the traffic coming from the right hand side of course. So I'm starting the test route a little bit further up from the actual test centre itself, because I don't want to be parking up in the test centre car park and interrupting any real driving tests. This particular test route is pretty uh, tricky actually because you've got a couple of uh, tricky elements to this particular test. So you've got a right turn onto a dual carriageway and you've also got some tricky and crazy roundabouts just outside St Peter's Hospital. I'll show you what I mean when we get a bit closer. So this particular roundabout will be turning right so right third exit, so checking my middle and right mirrors, right signal on, slow the car down, pretty safe at the moment, so around we go. <clears throat> at the traffic lights you're going to be asked to follow the road ahead, so I would line yourself up with the right hand side lane here, so line yourself up with the right hand side lane because the left lane only turns left. Excuse me, I think I've got something stuck in my throat. Okay guys, so uh, we'll be following the road ahead at the next set of traffic lights, so just going straight on here at the traffic lights. Then a little bit further up the road we've got a roundabout, we'll be going straight on taking the second exit at the roundabout. Checking to my right hand side, there's nobody coming. It's not a very big roundabout, so there's no need to indicate on this one. You can just go straight ahead. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna pull up on the left hand side in a safe place. So check my mirrors, signal left, but just pull in here on the left hand side. So this is what the actual examiner got my pupil to do on his actual driving test. So at this stage here, the examiner set up his sat-nav, so he set up the tom-tom and then got my pupil to follow the tom-tom. Uh, so um, I'm just going to move off when it's safe to do so and I'll carry on with the rest of the driving, the driving test routes. Okay, so at this point here, <coughs> we're following the, uh, the sat-nav. Well, my student would have been following that sat nav on his, uh, on his actual test. Okay, so um, I'll talk you through the, uh, the route obviously. We're going straight on at the roundabout, so we're taking the second exit here on this mini roundabout. There's a car coming from the right hand side indicating to turn, so I'll be giving way to that vehicle. The next car's quite far away, so we've got space here to nip, a, nip across. And then we've got a pedestrian crossing here, so this guy. He hasn't pushed the button, but he's waiting to cross the road. The lights probably won't change. Right, so this little bit here can be quite tricky. <clears throat> so the sat-nav will be directing you to turn right at the traffic lights and then taking the next road on the right-hand side. So right at the traffic lights, and then you're going to be taking the next road on the right-hand side. Because you're going to be taking the road on the right-hand side just after the traffic lights, I would advise you to follow the right hand side lane. So there's going to be two lanes on approach to these uh, set of traffic lights. So make sure you keep yourself in the right lane. So 
So I'm staying in the right lane just behind this grey van. Both the lanes turn right here, so there's no need for, for a right signal because if you're in, in these lanes there's nowhere, nowhere else you can go. So after the right turn here onto the dual carriageway, the sat nav's going to direct you to turn right. So you're going to be turning right into the next road on the right hand side. So mirrors, right signal. As you can see from the uh, video footage in front of me, there is actually a car inside the area where you're supposed to wait to turn right. So I can kind of slot in behind it, keep that right signal on, try and get my, myself parallel to the uh, lines on either side of the car so my back of the car is not sticking out. And then all I've got to do really is just wait for a uh, safe opportunity to turn into the road on the right hand side. Here comes that safe opportunity. So you can appreciate that turning there is quite tricky. So you've got to line yourself up correctly in the middle of the road so you're not blocking the traffic from coming from behind you and also not blocking the traffic coming from ahead of you. Um, and then just wait patiently until you've got a safe gap in the traffic and then and then make your turn. Once you've turned right, you're going to be uh, down this fairly narrow road. You've got parked cars on either side of the road. So do um, be careful. You might come across some tricky meeting traffic scenarios. I would keep the speed down on this road, probably no more than 20 miles an hour. Um, look ahead, make good use of your awareness and planning got a few bends here as well so for example this bend here keeping the car the uh, speed down trying to look as far ahead as I can another bend here so again slow the car down keep on your side of the road follow it around let's see if there's anyone coming from the other side so obviously the advantages of keeping the speed down is if you see someone coming from the other side you've got plenty of time to stop Okay, so it's a right bend this time, so I'll be keeping over to the left as much as I can. Keep the speed down again, look around the bend. If there's anyone coming, I'll be able to stop behind this parked Mini. As it's safe to go, I can carry on going. Same with this bend here, again, slow down before I reach the bend. Nothing coming. Okay, it's safe to carry on. It's a fairly quiet road. Um, usually there aren't too many cars using this particular road, but cars driving up and down here you could be uh, faced with some tricky meeting traffic situations. At the end of the road I'm going to be turning right so turning right back onto the dual carriageway so this is again is another tricky turn. Turning right on a dual carriageway from um, a junction like this is always going to be tricky because you have to cross several lanes of traffic. So check my mirrors, right signal on, stop at the giveaway lines. I can see lots of cars coming from the right once the cars are finished or it's clear to go, you're going to move into the middle of the road. So you're going to move into the middle of the road here. As it's clear, I can carry on going. Obviously, if it wasn't clear, you'd have to stop in the middle of the junction there and wait for a safe gap in the traffic. Turning right at this particular roundabout. So we're going to be turning right, taking the fourth exit on this big roundabout. Pretty clear at the moment, so I can join safely following the right lane. Just going past the second exit here, signposted Waybridge. Going past the third exit now, which is signposted Adelston. Checking my mirrors, left signal on. I'm going to return back to the left lane because it's safe to do so. And I'm now on the dual carriageway, heading back towards the Chertsey kind of area. So the next roundabout we're going to come across is again another tricky roundabout. So you're going to be asked to go straight on taking the uh, second exit at the roundabout. So straight ahead taking the second exit. So the next roundabout is the one that uh, joins on to the M25. So if you've watched my um, video I made about a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, it's called uh, Crazy and Tricky Roundabouts. I, I've uh, explained to people how to use the roundabout on that video. I'm going to show you again here anyway. So we're going straight on second exit. To do so, you need to stay in the left lane. 
obviously bringing the car down to a nice slow speed as you approach the roundabout. Checking over to my right hand side to make sure it's safe before I enter the roundabout. Looks pretty safe. So we need to follow the left lane here, so follow the left lane. Yeah, and then you need to use this right lane to exit onto the A320 because the left lane is closed off to us. Build up some speed, check my mirrors, make sure it's safe and then move back over to the left lane. Cars just slowed down in front of me. I think there was a car parking in the lay by there, so just to make sure something like that happens, you slow down yourself and keep a safe distance behind the car in front. So we should be following at least about two seconds behind the car in front in the dry and four seconds in the wet. So here we're going to be turning right, still following the sat nav at this, uh, this time during the, during the driving test. So it's a signposted towards Chertsey. The best way to do this actually is follow the middle lane. So I'm in the middle lane here, looking to the right, safe to carry on. And here I can join the left lane, which is closest to the grass on my left hand side. And then just make sure you're keeping the left lane all the way around the roundabout. And then you can't go, go wrong really, because when you're in the left lane, um, yeah, people who want to overtake you, they can move into the right lane to overtake. You're not going to be in, any, in anyone's way then. Same again for the next roundabout here, so we're going to be going ahead towards Chertsey. So again, just follow the left lane. So we're going to go past St. Peter's Hospital, which is this one here. Taking the exit here, back towards Chertsey. So, yeah. That's why this particular test route is quite tricky. So you've got the right turn coming off the dual carriageway into the residential road. And then you've got the right turn coming back out onto the dual carriageway, which can be tricky because you're crossing a few lanes of traffic there. And then you've got the big roundabout after that, turning right fourth exit onto the dual carriageway, the A320. Um, and then you're going straight second exit where the roundabout joins the M25. That's quite tricky. And then of course you've got to you've got to turn to make your way back towards um, Chertsey using those two big roundabouts outside St Peter's Hospital, um, which is which is also a tricky area, tricky part of the driving test. So yeah, I mean if you have got your test around this time of day, 12:28 one o'clock in the afternoon. Make sure you get yourself familiar with those with those big roundabouts. Maybe practice turning right into the uh, residential road off the dual carriageway and also turning right back onto the dual carriageway with your driving instructor a few times uh, because you don't want to be thrown off track when or if that comes up during your actual real driving test. Right, so we're just down Little Green Lane at the moment. The rest of the driving test route is pretty simple, pretty straightforward to be honest. Little Green Lane, I mean, if you've been doing lessons around here, you're probably going to recognise this road. It's quite tight, this particular section. There's always meeting traffic scenarios. So don't go so fast, look ahead, plan ahead, look where the gaps might be. Um, yeah, I mean, if you see a car coming towards you, you might need to stop and let the uh, car in front pull into a gap before you carry on with your journey. Okay, so turning left here, we're turning left onto Bittam's Lane. This particular road is very narrow. And again, on this road, the examiners love asking their test candidates to pull over on the left. So you can do, just check your mirrors, signal left, pull up on the left hand side, 
probably doesn't seem like the best place to stop, but you can stop on this road. Okay, so uh, what you've got then is a little hill, so it's kind of like a little hill start. So yeah, just make sure you get your feet set up in the correct places. Gas and bicycle point, don't roll back, and then you're off. Okay, so I'll be turning left at the end of the road, onto Green Lane. Pretty safe to go. Right, so we're going to be coming up to a roundabout in a moment, so when we get to the roundabout we're going to be turning right, so right at the roundabout. In a 30 mile an hour speed zone at the minute. Checking my mirror just now, just keeping an eye on the car behind me because they were coming from a 40 road and they've actually driven right up behind me now. One of those tailgaters, you know. Self a Golf GTD there, probably think they've got a really nice car and trying to give it large, you know. Anyway, turning right here at the roundabout. Safe to go. Right, so what road is this? Skilford Road, 40 mile an hour speed limit. It's building up my speed. So if I was on my driving test, I wouldn't get any faults for undue hesitation. If you drive too slow, obviously the examiner might give you faults for undue hes. And yeah, we're nearly back at the test centre now. Just maybe another half a minute or so away. So we're going to be turning right at the next roundabout, right at the roundabout, taking the second exit and that will take us back towards the driving test centre at Chertsey. Checking my middle and right mirrors, right signal on. Right, so my friends, that's pretty much the end of the, uh, the test route. So I'll be stopping on the right hand side or in the road on the uh, to my right hand side. I'm not going to be going all the way down to the actual test centre itself. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like and please do subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, it's going to help the growth of my channel. Um, if you enjoy my videos, perhaps you've got a uh, test coming up in Chertsey, there's a, there's a few more routes I've uploaded that you can, can watch. It'll help you get familiar with the area. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on my next video, so take care, and uh, bye for now.